Steve here, Woodworking Masterclass, and I have got a treat today. It's not fine furniture, it's not even DIY, it's just a lot of fun and something that will enhance the outdoor area you've got for entertainment or maybe even inside if you've got a rustic looking bar. I've been asked to make a wine rack using the bough of a tree. Now this tree I picked up when I was on a timber getting expedition a couple of weeks ago and I reckon it'll fit the bill. It's rustic, it's got that weathered natural look about it and it's not too big. What I'm going to do is drill 11 holes in the side of it, six down one side, five down the other at an angle and then I can mount it on the wall and put wine bottles in it. The, what I'm going to use is an ordinary spade bit. I tried doing it with a cordless drill but even an 18 volt couldn't handle the pace. So an electric drill with a 1 and 3 8 spade bit or 36 mil, 38 mil will do the trick. And I've got to mark off six on one side and then five on the other side. So I'll mark the six off first. I reckon the last went in about there. And I'll put the first one in about there. So now I've got to divide that so I've got six equal portions. I'm not even going to measure it, I'm just going to see what looks close. But one there, one there, one there, and we'll have one there. So pop nails. So to get five, what I now do is divide these in half. All right, that's the marking out. Now instead of using a nail, you could use a piece of chalk, but for the life of me, I couldn't find a piece of chalk. So I've got one, two, three, four, five on this side, and six on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there you go, I'll start drilling those. And on purpose, I haven't measured it, I just want it looking rustic and it's going to be done by eye and we'll see how it turns out. Pull the first nail out. It's always handy. If you have to pull nails out, especially in timber work that's going to be seen, use a block of wood, put the claw under the nail, block of wood under there, and then when you lever it out you don't mark the timber. It's sandalwood and oh, it smells beautiful. That makes nearly as much mess as Theo does when he's in here wood turning. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'll do all the one side, then I can maintain the same angle and my muscle memory will give me roughly the same angle. Then I'll turn it around and I'll do the other side. Fit in there, fits in there okay, in there, in there, in there, actually. Yep, that one's alright. Yep, that's alright. It's told you there wasn't much skill involved. Okay, now we turn it over. And we'll do the other five. So keep it in line so I've got five holes down one side and then the corresponding side on the top, that's what I want. So you don't want the bottles to lean back so they hit the wall. Again, going straight and then tilt it back a bit. This is extremely hard, it's a 
a desert timber from far western New South Wales. So if you were using a piece of pine or something that was a softer wood, the going would be a lot easier. But yeah, it'll be worth it. That's good. So once you get a flat surface like that, the spade cutter is cutting all the way around so then you can turn it or, or lean it back a bit. If only half your spade is cutting, when you turn it, it'll jump, come out of your arms, can break your thumb, break the drill, break the bit, there's all sorts of horrible things. Okay, there we have it. Yep, that's good. So one very rustic, easy to put together, whoops, wine bottle rack that we just mount on the wall. And hopefully, the bottles will just sort of stick in like that. Haven't got that many wine bottles with me at the moment. But what I really want to show you, let's get this drill out of the way, is a fantastic new joining system. I just came across this a few weeks ago. One of the joys of doing a TV show is you get on the cutting edge of what's happening out there in whatever industry you're in and in woodworking. Um, yeah, I get to see some things that haven't totally been released yet. And this is a system I absolutely love. It's called Strip Lock, and I'll show you how it works and how we can easily fit it to this wine rack. And then I'll make up a little mock-up on the front of the bench and show you how easy it is to install. I'll just clean all this off the bench first. Now, this new joining system I was talking about, absolutely brilliant. Strip lock, just clips together like that, holds things really firm. You don't have to slide it all the way along like that. You can just put it in the last section, clip. And this particular one for standing on a wall, downward shear factor is rated at 200 kilos. So it's well and truly more than enough for the new wine rack. So I'll show you how to fit it together and we'll do a trial run on the bench and we'll go from there. It comes in all different shapes and sizes too, this little round ones. So what I've been asked to do is make a dartboard cabinet and then the dartboard just fits on that and we'll do a complete cabinet just using this uh, stuff here's another one if you don't want to cut dovetails i love doing dovetails don't get me wrong fine furniture but in a hurry you put this on one of the uh, sides you put this on one of the ends they go together like that and then you just simply put that in place slide it and again it holds brilliant stuff more about that later and it should hit the shop soon, I would imagine. But let's mount this wine rack. Okay, so what I've got is this beautiful lump of sandalwood that I harvested myself. And I'm going to mount it flat on a wall. But if I look down here, I've got a high spot here. So what I'm going to do is mount a mounting block on the back and then I'll mount that onto the wall. What I've got here is a little bit of, it's not even graded stud. It's uh, 35 by 70. I've worked out, if I place it in that spot there, this is just touching, but by the time I fit the strip lock fitting and the strip lock fitting to the back of it to go onto the wall, it's going to clear the wall. So what I'll do is drill 
four clearance holes. I've got some 10 by 75 mil outside timber screws in case it's going to the entertainment area. And the clearance hole I need for that is 13 64ths. So I'll just bung four in here. And because I'm using 10 by 75 mil outdoor timber screws, I don't want this to shear off in here. So what I'll do is drill a pilot hole that is roughly 75% of the thickness of the threaded part. In this case, I'm gonna use a 1 8 drill bit. Gee, it's nice to do some rustic stuff for a while. It's, I love fine furniture and I love the DIY, but this is fun, I hope you can tell. That should be just about right. It's got an open section here. Just line it up and it clips in. But as I said, you don't have to slide it all the way in. You can just put it so that meets there and then in. So I've got some eight by 32 screws here. Now that's going into soft pine, so I don't have to pre-drill that. Now we just line this up. That's going pretty straight. I think I'll only have to put four in. So we've got this on, mounted. And what I've done here is I've just got a little bit of stud, that's like the F5. Got a little cut off piece here and I've just drilled with two screws, just holding the other part of the strip lock joinery system. We've got the clamp on there. Now let's put this on. Oh. This is how easy it goes in. I'll let it drop and there we have it. See how it holds the bottles. Well, there you go. Next time you do some pruning in the backyard, maybe consider reusing a branch for something for an adornment in the outdoor entertainment area. It's funky, it's different, it's natural, it's quirky, and most of all, it's easy. So this is Steve pulling the shed door down on another little project. Hope you enjoyed it. And later on, I'll be making a more traditional wine rack using some pine. So keep your eye open for that video. But until then, remember to keep it sharp, but more importantly, keep it safe and enjoy your woodwork.